Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome to another ship tour. So I'm currently on the Carnival Horizon. I'm up on deck 15, which is the Serenity deck. You can see La Romana, the port down below. And I'm going to be taking you on a ship tour. So the Horizon is not the largest of Carnival ship. That goes to the Celebration and the Mardi Gras. But this class, the Horizon, the Panorama, and the Vista, are the second largest class. They are sister ships. And so this is going to be a minute. We're going to go from floor 15 all the way down to the bottom. And I will show you as much detail as I can without this being overly long and tedious. But... Um, I know you guys want to see everything. I'm always curious when I'm going on a new ship, what it looks like. We are still in port here for another couple hours. So I'm hoping to get the ship when it is not full to capacity because there are 4,000 people that can be on this ship for gas. That does not include all of the crew and the workers and the fabulous people who basically live on this ship and make it run. So let's start with a little tour of the Serenity area. As you can see, Serenity is 21 and over, and it has two hot tubs. It also has a little bar and lots of clamshells and loungers. Let's go down the stairs. I can do a lot of things, but walk, talk, and film down the stairs is not one of them. So this is a port day. So I, I can't say that this is full to capacity, obviously, but as you can see, it is still pretty full. Adults love to come out here. And since this is the very top of the ship, they do have a little bit of a windbreak all the way around, which is nice because it gets super windy. So let's walk back this way and see what else there is to see on floor 15. bathroom up here always important and lots more loungers even a bit of shade it's always my favorite you can see the elevators right in here we'll go in there in a minute but i'm going to take you all the way to the other side All right, so we have here on floor 14, 12, 13, we'll get down there, the water park. And the slides are right over here. So, there you go. Are you tall enough? I'm tall enough. Dun, 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 dun. Not dressed appropriately, but I am tall enough. You can see through to the big screen where they have movies up on the deck. And you can hear without the wind breaks in the serenity area. Let's go back to the uh, elevator. Other side of the island. There's some big houses over here. Whew. You can also tell how much quieter it is behind these wind breaks. All right. Inside, there is not much up on deck 15. You can see that it is literally just uh, this top section right here with a bathroom 
and the serenity deck and access for the pool or the slides. So you're going to go ahead. You can either go down the elevator or you can go down the stairs, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and show you the elevators real quick. The elevators on the horizon are interesting. So you pick your floor and you will press it for everyone in your party. So if you have six people, you're going to push that floor six times. If you have one person, you're going to push it once. But we're going to go ahead and walk down the stairs. We'll use the elevator at some point during the tour. But floor 15 and then spa is 14. As you can see, 14 is mostly rooms and cabins. So there's not really much to come to here unless you are staying in one of these cabins. This is the spa deck. So if you have a spa cabin or suite, this is your area. It's very uh, serene, very peaceful very blue. Let's go ahead and uh, go down to 13. All right, down to deck 12. There is no 13 for the spa waterworks. You can see we are back to the full elevators. And there is a bit more on deck 12. It goes all the way over instead of just at the front of the boat. So if you are actually looking for the spa, it is straight back. And this is where you'll go for your massages, for your facials, to get your hair done or your nails done. We'll just be able to go in the lobby. Um, and you can see we've got all the rooms back there. Nice ladies at the front desk. And that is about it. right or left, you will have more of those spa cabins. So this is going to be very similar to what we saw on deck 14. And of course, the door down there will take you outside to Waterworks. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go ahead and walk out here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, goodness. More restrooms. Loungers, We've got the pool and um, some little cabanas. And that's where we came from. We keep walking along the deck here. Get the great views of the nice houses. <laughs> and 
and you will finally get to the other half of the decks at the back of the boat. Mom and I watched Top Gun Maverick on here a couple nights ago. We've seen it before, but you know. Foosball. This is, of course, the jogging track. Can go up to the sky course. Can you imagine? I will put a picture on the screen of when my brother convinced me to go on an excursion and do a similar course. Not my favorite. There are ping pong tables inside. There's a little miniature golf and some pool. And especially if you come on a port day like today, you can see a lot of this kind of stuff is uh, fairly open for anybody who wants it. More loungers if you're ready to soak up the sun. Unlike me, the albino girl only burns. No matter what I do, I only burn. All right, let's get to the back of the ship. Right, so at the back of the boat, we have the sky court, which is usually full of people playing basketball. And on both sides, they have sky fitness, which are workout machines that use your own body strength. And that is the end of deck 12. Let's head on down to deck 11. That is 10. So deck 11 here is a designated smoking area. It goes all the way down. So if you're looking for the smoking area on the horizon, deck 11 on the right side of the boat goes pretty much from the back all the way up through the midship so that you can um, watch movies out by the pool. Woo. All right, we also have access here to Gigi's, which is the Asian kitchen, and Cucina del Capitano. I never pronounce these things right. And let me just point out here, that as we do this ship tour, y'all better be helping me look for ducks because you know your girl's always on a duck hunt. I'm not seeing any, so I will let you I'll let you wait this time. All right, so deck eleven. You can see we have our kitchens back here. There's not much in the middle. This is all where our uh, pool is, and then staterooms all the way up to the front. So very uh, limited on floor 11. Once we get to 10 is where we will start to really see more of where it's at. 10 is Lido. It's where it's always happening. So go ahead and walk outside though, all the way down. That way you get the full experience on every deck. Oh, train. La Romana train. So this side is not smoking. Only the other side is smoking. Depending on the time of day and where the boat is situated, uh, the shade will, of course, be one side or the other. Looks like today, shade is over here. 
and they are cleaning and painting. You can smell it. They do a really good job of keeping everything very clean. Camp 11 here, midship, is where you will start to see Camp Ocean. Camp Ocean, of course, is the kids' camp. So above two, I don't know how high they go, but pretty high. So it's all enclosed. Dun dun dun. You have to access it from the middle of the ship. There's another bathroom. One's on this side, one's on the other side. Another spot to sit here. We are right under the movie screen. So you can see here, Pool, chairs, all in the shade, and this is all smoking on this middle floor as well. If you are looking for Camp Ocean, it is right here. Eleven midship, ages two to five, ages six to eight and ages nine through 11. There you go. And I believe they have different hours, but lots of different hours. All right, so across the way here is just more staterooms. So let's go ahead and pop down to floor 10 to Lido, where all the fun is. All right, so deck 10, you can see from the diagram that we are right under the uh, movie. We've got pool, we've got all the chairs, and then all of the front of the ship is going to be cabins. In the back is going to be the main Lido dining hall, which they call the marketplace, and then the Thai pool at the back. So let's head out to the pool. This is where all the magic happens. So you've got the main pool. Oh, you're fine, hon. You've got the two spots where you can sit, put your feet in the water, and of course this is all a wading pool. You can sit anywhere around here. With your feet in the water, there is my favorite place on the whole ship, Guy's Burgers. They are open until 6, so they're open pretty late. From here, got partying all day. The music is always loud here. We've got the Red Frog Rum Bar. And you can walk on up to 11 and 12. Got the Towel Hut. State rooms. Ooh. It is sunny, 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 y'all. So sunny out here. And the blue iguana. So there is a bar on either side. Whew. 
Lots of non-albino people sunbathing. <laughs> right, so on this side we have the blue iguana cantina, which has already gone to bed for the day. They're open at lunchtime. And again, I believe in the afternoon for dinner or snacks, but they have tacos, burritos, all kinds of fun stuff. And of course, there's a drink station by Guy's Bargs and by the Blue Iguana. So this is all of the included drinks. You've got your coffee, you've got lemonade and iced tea, and you've got water. Anything but that. Um, yeah, iced tea. I was like, did I say iced tea? Is extra. So you'll have to get the drink package. Of course, you can purchase individual drinks. Or like me, you can bring on a 12 pack of your favorite drink. So I bring Diet Coke, mom brings Diet Coke. Very important, ice cream machine, right off Lido deck. Are two different kind of buffets. They are identical, but there is a midship buffet here. And then there is one on the other side. I don't believe either of them is stocked right now. But they have salad, sandwiches, they have different food of the day, they have sweets, um, usually Indian food, all kinds of things. So they're getting prepped for dinner right now. And if you are gluten-free, that is usually on the tag as well if something is gluten-free or not. And if you are unsure, you can always ask. Lots of places to sit and eat. And unlike a lot of the smaller ships, the um, eating areas are kind of split into these smaller sections instead of one big open room which is nice for eating. A little harder to find people if you're not sure exactly where they are. All right, let's see if anything's open here. There are lines, so I'm imagining there is. Yes, looks like the deli is open. Which makes sense. The deli is one of places that is usually open all the time. And that's it. We'll go back to the pool right here. Menu mate. A lot of times, meal times, they will have someone stationed at that meal mate podium. And that is who you want to talk to if you have any kind of allergies, gluten problems, that you need maybe a special diet on the Lido deck. Um, of course, you can always put that in your information before you board. And if you're going to eat at the same dinner table every night, they, the waiters and the staff will take care of you. But especially for lunch, if you're unsure of what you can eat, that, that spot right there, that's where they'll help you. All right, we made it to the back. We have the seafood shack, which is not included, but it is fabulous. We have the main bar at the back of the ship. We have the pool and not one, two hot tubs that are always this full, even late at night. 
and most popular place on the ship, we have the pizzeria, which is open till 4 a.m. And you can see, quite popular. And that's it for deck 10. We will pop down, but floors 9, 8, and 7 are really all staterooms. It's not till we get to five that we will really start to see more public spaces. But we do have the IMAX theater here. So let's pop down one floor at a time. We'll just see the rooms a smidge and uh, go from there. All right, deck nine, as you can see, is all rooms. These are the main floors with rooms, except for the IMAX theater here, but I believe you will access that from floor six. So let's go down one of these hallways. This is a standard hallway. A lot of people will decorate their doors so they know which room is theirs. But other than that, all the same. All right, y'all. So we are in front of the IMAX. We are on deck seven forward. You can see all the elevators and the doors for the IMAX right here. Looks like you can see showtimes on your hub app, but you have to go down to six to buy a ticket. We don't need a ticket. Either way, we are still all state rooms, and I believe deck six. It's not all the st not all state rooms, but a lot. Let's go down a floor. See what there is. We didn't go that far, but you can see that the stairs actually split here. So you come towards the front of the ship here. We have Circle C, which is ages 12 through 14. Drop off your bigger kids or hang out in the arcade. All right, other side. In case you've never been on a carnival cruise before, when you board the ship, you get your sign and sail card. Even your kids will get these. And unless you put a limit on them, they can spend whatever they want on whatever card you've connected. So unless you want them going in that arcade, spending all the money. Remember to put a limit. <laughs> Having too much fun. Deck six. And here is the front of the IMAX. You can see plenty of uh, beer drinks and snacks, but the dive-in theater, which is up by the pool, plays movies all week. Um, maybe not brand new movies, but like we just watched Top Gun Maverick. We're going to watch Wakanda Forever in a couple days. There's still plenty of fun things to see. But that is it for Floor 6. Deck five, 
another spot where there's lots going on. So we have the actual liquid lounge up front, which is where they do all the shows. We're going to go through here into the Horizon Atrium, the main spot with the bar. We've got the fun shops. We've got the piano bar, bonsai. Goes all the way back to the Havana bar and area, which is where where the Havana pool and spa or hot tub is, and very important, my room. <laughs> so let's check it out from front to back. I don't know that the liquid lounge will be open this time of day, but if not, I will put some footage from one of the shows. They are probably hard at work rehearsing right now, but this is where you enter the liquid lounge. And of course the fun shops will be closed since we are in port shops, casinos, all of that can only be open when we are out at sea. Uh, there's plenty of fun things. If you are looking for something to buy, this ship has a Victoria's Secret. Oh, excuse me, I'm trying to stay out of the way. It just doesn't work. <laughs> you can see the atrium here. Down on three is where the bar is and where the dinner is, dinner, the restaurant dining room for early and your time, early and late dinner. Your time is at the back. Guest services is also down there. You can see it's got the hours according to which day of the cruise it is. That's a jewelry. And then cherry on top, the candy spot. And again, you do not put a limit on your children's sign and sale cards. You will own a lot of candy. Just telling you. Here we go. We're going to pass the art gallery. You can always purchase art. They have some auctions as well, which are fun to see, even if you're not looking to buy anything. The piano bar. Fahrenheit 555, which is the steakhouse and bonsai teriyaki. The sushi spot. And your first look at the casino which is down a floor. I love it because on this ship, they have started putting up glass if you're not in the casino so that we cannot smell all the smoke. Because I am an 85-year-old person on the inside. The alchemy bar. And there is access to the midship elevators right here. Everybody's setting up their uh, photo backdrops for dinner. If you've ever been on a carnival ship, you know. Love to take pictures. Speaking of pictures, the Pixels Gallery, where you can purchase said pictures. And everything now has moved to digital, so... You can come view your pictures and buy them one at a time or in a bundle. Then we have Pig and Anchor, which is, of course, guys, barbecue. And if you come on sea days, not port days, sea days, they have a free buffet all the way through on the opposite side out on the deck. Port, port days it is not there, but sea days it is, and of course, embarkation day. Same with the Italian restaurant we saw up top. And if you want more professional photos, you can sign up for that. 
that is more of an appointment like thing. And here is where all of you coffee lovers can get your special coffee. It is not included unless you have the drink package. Ocean Plaza, they have all the trivia here and karaoke in the evenings. Have the little bar. And right out here. Is the Ocean Bar Plaza? You can see there's lots of uh, nice chairs with umbrellas to come sit. Nice little spot. The other frustrating part of the ship is the last time I was on it in 2019, all of these automatic revolving doors were automatic. Now they're not. You have to push them. But they're not meant to be pushed, so it's a little hard. Not difficult, just a little hard. All right, headed home. Home to Havana. All right, so. Left is where my room is. Right are the other Havana rooms. And while there are Havana state rooms above us, balconies on floor six, seven, and eight. These are all Havana. The floor five is the only spot that has interior Havana rooms and the Havana cabanas. Let's see if mom's out here. She said she was going to the pool. And if you are in the Havana area, you have a wristband that allows you back to the pool but I didn't bring mine, but it does have a tag on your ship card, so I'll be fine. Plus, one of the best parts of staying back in the Havana area is that it is slightly exclusive. Only the people in the Havana area are allowed back here, past the bar which means that by day three or four, which we're on, they really get to know you. But we'll see if he even asks. Let's see if mom's still out here. Got two spas, got the chairs, and we've got the pool. But I don't see his mom. Take a quick peek around here. Show you the towel spot. So if you need a new towel, you can get as many as you need throughout the day. There are three clamshells on either side. And then we come to the cabanas. So if you have a cabana or a suite, you can walk right out of your room and go to the pool. If you have an interior, you have to come through the bar, or if you are on the even side of the ship, there is a little door you can come right through your room. For the odd side, <laughs> we're probably down across from 5231. We have to come all the way through the bar. So take the odd side, unless you have to. We literally got the last room in the Havana area. So, you know, any room in the Havana area is better than not being back here. We love the pool and the hot tubs. I'm going to pop over the room and see if mom's there. So as you can see, the Havana area has a whole different theme to the rooms, just like the spa deck had a different theme than the standard cabins. And if we were on the even side, we could walk right down here and go out to the bar and the pool. But since we're on the odd side, we cannot. There's mom. Bye.
found her. All right, mom is watching a movie. She was gonna go out to the pool, but I guess she said she wanted some non-sun time. So uh, we will leave her there and I will put some footage here of our room right when we moved in on day one. Ready? Havana cabin this trip, which is very, uh, it's nice, but it is small, which, you know, we're, we're good with. You can see that it is supposed to sleep anywhere from two to four. So both of these spaces up here will drop down into bunks if you are traveling with more people. I forgot my pillow, but two beds. They can also push these together to make a king if you are traveling with a spouse or someone you want to share a bed with instead of my mama, who I do not want to share a bed with. <laughs> Nightstands, your little lamps. And then this side, we have our mini fridge. We have some shelves and our Havana towels. Now the Havana area, of course, has its own exclusive pool. So you get special towels and a wristband that allow you into that pool area. We have our vanity and our little chair, our desk area. And this always has a few USBs and a few uh, American and even a three prong plug. And we have our closet, which typically there are three bays, but there's only two in this room. There's the long one for hanging things and then the shelves and drawers with the safe, which, you know, we're on a ship, it's fine. We'll make it work. Mom loves to unpack on the ship, so I'm sure she will. Then the bathroom with our tiny shower. I've seen worse, I've seen better. And always lots of little glass shelves in here. So there you go, an entire interior Havana stateroom tour. All right, so that is it for the end of deck five. Let's go ahead and go down the floor to deck four. All right, so on deck four, we have the Meder Meridian restaurant. Right now, this is your time dining, and it is floors four and three. So below us, you can see both floors. We also have the Punchliner Club, which is in the Limelight Lounge, the Sports Bar. We have the Casino, Fun Shops, and the Liquid Lounge up front. So let's go ahead and make our way towards the front of the ship. If we go from the back, right down here is an exit from the Limelight Lounge where the punchliner, the comedians are. So you can come out this way, but it's not open to go in that way. If you want to go to the punchliner, it is around this corner. There's a conference room here, but I think you have to book that in advance. I'm not sure. I've never been to a conference on a ship. I almost did once. <laughs> Here is the Limelight Lounge. Typically, this door is closed and the door down here is open. Can't believe we've done almost over 10 ducks and found no ducks. Only found three ducks this entire cruise though, so. Here we go, here's the Limelight. Looks like she's cleaning. They have PG shows and R shows for 18 and up. And now this whole hallway is more art from the art gallery. So find something you just have to have. You can go uh, talk to the people at the art gallery. One of my mom's best friend's daughters bought a painting on a ship once but other than that I don't know anyone who's actually bought a, one of these pieces Whew, they are fun to look at 
bathroom. Important. Always important to know where all the bathrooms are. This is my favorite piece right now. Very Thomas Kincaid. Classic Thomas. The Sky Bar. And I've always got most current games on. This is usually just full at the evening hours. And now we will come to the actual casino. And you will find a duck in here. People like to hide ducks in the casino. You can see midship elevators, more bathrooms, and O2, another part of Club Ocean. Dun da da dun. Slots. Lots of slots. And of course, the casino is never open when we are in port. It's only open on open waters when we are out to sea. So we uh, leave port at 4.30 today. And by 5, this place will be full. But not full of ducks. Staff meeting. Maybe that's why there's no ducks around. So I'll tell you, the only one who likes a duck more than a cruiser is a staff person. All right, we're coming to the atrium. Again, none of this will be open while we were in port. But you can see watches, all your liquor, very important. Setting up more and more photo spots. And one time, my brother, my mom, and I all came on a cruise. That was mom's big thing. She wanted to get family pictures, so we did. It was fun. My brother even brought his suit. He looked very nice. All right. Purses, swimsuits, shirts, all kinds of fun stuff. And the bottom of the liquid lounge. All the staff meetings are letting out. Let's run down to three. All right, deck three. So we have all staterooms up front. In the middle of the ship here, guest services, reflection restaurant, and then no through access. So this is the kitchens. This is where they make all the delicious food. And back to the lower half of the Meridian restaurant. So we're pretty much at the end of the ship, y'all. Everything under lo under low us, below us, underneath us, <laughs> is staterooms. So we have guest services on this side, where they also have machine for your sign and sale card. It's a pretty pretty photo backdrop. Have some chairs, the main uh, atrium bar. Mm -hmm. 
over here is the Carnival Adventure Desk, where you can book excursions if you have not booked them before the cruise or on your app. And a few computers that you can use if you don't have a computer or you haven't paid for internet access on the cruise. But you can see here, they've got it pulled up. All of the internet plans, how much they are. Some you can do for 24 hours, some for the entire cruise. Some ships have better Wi-Fi than others. And here we are. We have the big grand staircase. And then on this side, they have the curved staircase. Oftentimes they will block this one off for pictures. These are fun with all the color. I like that one. And in the evenings, they often have musicians playing right here for you. And here is the Reflections restaurant. So this is early and late dining. This is where mom and I eat because she always likes early dining. Let's see if we can't pass through. other dining hall is the fancy one. But this one's nice. We sit right over here for dinner with Willie, the best waiter. We like him. And as you can see, at the end of this, there are stairs. There's no way to get to the other half of the ship. Because in between this restaurant and that restaurant, it's the kitchen. We are literally right here. So in order to get around the kitchen, you'll have to go up or down and cross. So I will meet y'all right here. All right, made it. So as you can see, we have the lower portion of the Meridian restaurant and nothing else. <laughs> There's no through way to anywhere else on the ship. This is its own little hideaway here. So, went down to Family Harbor. I will put that footage up right now. And after Family Harbor, staterooms down on the first floor, all the same. We've got the medical center. If you ever need medical assistance, I sprained my ankle on a cruise once, and they were amazing. Um, and then, usually either front of the ship or midship all the way down on zero is the gateway where you can get off the ship. So that is it, the entire Carnival Horizon. And before I go, let's use these elevators for real. So we go back up to floor five. I'm going to press it once because I am one person. And it's telling me to go to car D. Now, if I was with my mom and had two people, I would push it twice. You want to push it as many times as there are people in your party. Okay, y'all? From here, there's no buttons in the elevator. You push your floor outside. Inside, it will light up whatever floor you're going to. You can see five. And they'll say up here. And that's it. We're back on floor five. I hope you guys liked this little cruise ship tour on the Carnival Horizon. Honestly, the Horizon and the Pride are probably my two favorite ships. If the Pride had the Havana area, it would be my favorite. 
I like that size of ship. It's much easier to get back and forth on. It took me two days to finish this tour for y'all. I'm going to go back out to the pool. I will see y'all later. Bye. Family harbor rooms often have a bathtub for little kids. They have their own little area where you can take your family to sit and eat and relax um, with your kiddos. And they have, uh, I won't say more space, but they have space for a trundle bed or the beds that come from the ceiling. Now, not always, but on most ships, that is the plan. See, they have a little buffet in there, little continental food, ice cream, all the important things for Family Harbor. <laughs> 